Ah, there's the angel after all. Same pack as Lyra. All right, Teferi or Uro. Or Judith. Actually, I kind of want to do some aggro nonsense now. I like Aunt Judy a lot. I'm going to... Ignore Uro and Teferi. I'm going to first pick Judith, and I'm going to try to build an aggro deck this time. A non-white aggro deck. Okay, Knight of the Ebon Legion is quite the one drop, let me tell you. <laughs> Had I taken Uro, I might go with like the Great Henge here. Excuse me, go. Anax into Torbrand into Winota. So they were cheating. How many sack outlets are there in this format? Probably not too many, right? For Aunt Judy. Well, yes on Henge and Uro, but they both draw cards. Oh, we have seen Oven. I haven't seen Priest, but I did see Oven. We did see Weaponize that one time too. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh yeah, the Oracle of whatever, the Goblin Doo Doo. All right, all right, all right. Woe Strider, sure. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Chat, you right, I'm wrong. Speaking of Anax, let's take that here and maybe wheel the skew. Anax good with Judy. Not because the tokens deal damage, because Judith specifies non-token, but Judith pumps the tokens. So, pretty good. Ember. Yes, I believe we saw it. We milled it during one of the drafts earlier today. <clears throat> O'Doyle oh, rules. How dare you. What's our arena cube record today? Let's see, first draft was 6-3, then we had like a 1-3, then we had an 0-3, and then we had a 7-1. I don't know what was underneath that. There might have been one more in between there. Oh, there's a sack outlet. I don't remember if I've done four or five of these. At least four. Um, does Whisper Wheel? Probably. I don't really care about losing Nightmare or Fruit or anything, though. Like, it has just too much synergy in the deck. Not necessarily the sack out that we want, but maybe the one we deserve. I'm not going to take Spawn. I'm going to take the Caves. I don't think this is the deck that wants the Spawn anyways. We got seven with the Ulamog, yeah. Ooh. I want the man. I want that skeleton too, but I think I take the weapon eyes here. We'd have to get pretty lucky. Be nice though. Dude, friendship. We're just drafting Ikoria. Friendship and weapon eyes. GG. I know Vile Offering's good, especially in like a cube. It was so much harder to pull off in just regular Dominaria, but I'm going to go with the castle. Um, plenty of legendaries to enable the Vile Offering. All right, that's pretty good. Mulligan this pack. We're never going to play the Electromancer. Take the land, just in case. Unlikely, but just in case. I hope Oko's not in. You just drafted this deck, it's a trap. Watch and learn! Ah, let me show you the ways. One mana cycler. We're not never playing Manifold. Alright, I'm ready to wheel the skeleton, please. Skelly! Skelly! 
Last pick. Uh... Damn it. Squee the Immortal. Not bad if I'm planning on doing some Whisper and some Weaponize nonsense. But I think I want to take like the Rampage and just wheel the Squee. I don't think Squee is a high priority pick for people. No, I don't think this is the deck we want taste in. Cave is also fine. I'm going to go with the Ramp. All right. I'm going to take the Devil, and we should probably wheel Familiar. But the, the Kitty Cat's not going to be relevant anyways, unless I get the Oven, so I'd rather have the Devil here. Slaying Fire. Ooh, Shepherd is also pretty nice. I think that's a top end card I'll take over fire. Good. Red Presence is not terrible. Frenzy is probably not completely awful. Spitter, also not awful. Depends what route we want to go. This is more the aggressive strategy. I kind of like taking Frenzy and then wheeling the, uh, wheeling the Spits. This might not be the best Frenzy deck, but I love Frenzy. I think the card is great. Plague Crafter or Rimrock Knight? I have a lot of threes already, but Plague Crafter has a lot of synergy. Yeah, let's take the Plague. Probably wheel something anyway. Another really solid pack. Damn. Okay, I think I'm going to take the Initiate here. Pyromancer, Maggot, and Thalmire Knight are all good, but I'm actually going to take the, the good Sack Outlet. Ooh, a little Bastion? Okay. Sorry, Agonizing Remorse. Sorry, Midnight. Alright, I need to I need to lower my curve. I need to get ones and twos now. This is historic Phantom Draft, basically. Dreadhorde Butcher, yeah. Huh. Oh, Roar of the Worms in this. Cool. <sighs> These are all expensive, but they're all great. I'm just going to take Mr. Monstro. It's expensive, but... The cave. No, you don't keep them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the familiar. We still have another entire pack to go, so... Witch's Oven would be a great find. Did get the spitter back. Did not get Squee, but that's not a huge deal. The three man on Squee was a little bit awkward anyways. As I already have too much top end, I think. There's the knight. Nice. Good, good. And the Pyromancer. All right, that, those were some really solid wheels. We needed that early game. We wheeled like four, four early game plays, right? Familiar, Spitter, Pyromancer, and Knight. Oh, and the Order. Excellent. Very good. And there's the Priest. Alright, we in, baby. We are in. This is just the easiest blood crypt and wheel the Dragon Skull Summit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, this kind of is standard. No, I think the land is a much better pick. And if we get that Dragon Skull Summit back, oh baby. Yeah, this is fine. This kills Planeswalkers, so. All right, I'm going to get oven pick six, calling it. Pick six is where the oven is hiding. Oh, 
ho, ho, ho. Hello. Hello. Rigged. Okay, here's pick six. Here's oven. Calling my shot. Oven's not even that good. I think it'd be decent. Doesn't matter. It's here. I'm gonna take it, okay? It's right here! Look at that oven! Wow! Man, any three of these picks are legitimate. I think I have so many playables already, I'm just gonna take the land, but obviously Captivating Crew is synergistic. It's just very expensive. I'll, I'll take the land. I don't think I need it. The $1,000 meme? Ah. Where's Emo Port Emilio? It evolved into Quilava and I didn't get my $1,000. Truly the most rigged. It's a good pickup. Alright, I'm just gonna cut the charging monster store, I think. No oven. GG. Not that we need it. Alright, I guess I can just cut the familiar then. We have better early game plays. Cat doesn't do enough. There's the priest on the wheel too. Okay. That might just be the deck right there, 16 lands. Sure. If somebody d donated $1,000, I would definitely, definitely play some Pokemon and eat some Nugs. You talked me into it. Just a thousand bucks, that's all. <laughs> that circumstance was a lot different. I didn't want to play in the event. This might be good. Paragon Emerald! Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. I didn't wheel that, uh... There was that other land, what was it? The, uh... Dragon Skull. Oh well. Oh, I have a fr Oh, I have a Castle Embereth too, Jesus. Um... I'm debating whether or not I want the Forgotten Cave or not. Probably do. That's more tap lands than I would really want, though, in this deck, but it's not that bad. I don't think we need the Mythos. What's up, Mr. Lee Sharp? Salty's Falcon with the biddies! Draft a red aggro deck, and then all of a sudden, Lee Sharp shows up. I see how it is. Lost the die roll. Wow. And my hand sucks. Alright, we're gonna go to six and hope we can find something better here. Blech. Two bad things to happen. Lose the die roll. Unplayable hand. Yeah, and now I misclicked. Wow. <laughs> Is this a mirror match? What the heck? Timmy? Freaking Timmy! I'm debating if I want to uh, pump with Rimrock, 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 or if I just want to hard cast it. I think I might want to hard cast it here. 
If the pump would have leveled up the knight, I think I would have. I am going to be concerned if they just pass. It's pretty good too. Eh, something's going to happen to me here. Why do I feel like I should just pump up the knight? This is too good not to do. Might get ruined, we'll find out. Okay. It's not the worst, because the cleave still stays on the battlefield. I do lose the rigging runner. The next turn we can potentially equip plus priest or whatever. Cycling memory leak, okay. Whoa, doggy. Alright, looking good. This is yet, yeah, this is out. And everybody gets one free one. Go play it, right now. Boot up arena, join a draft. One's on the house. How lucky. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Fine. Suit yourself. Uh-oh. A lot of people have been entering with actual monies. What are you doing? Chat, there was an option. No, you, there, it's just, you just joined the event and the very top option was enter. I guess it didn't specify that it was free, but it said enter now, and yeah. I actually think I just want to attack here. Oh, that's true. In the description it says the first is free, right? Okay, I'm thinking I might kill the Timmy now. Because Timmy represents a decent bit of life gain, so... I'm not sure. If you if you paid for the first one, can does anybody know? If you paid for the first one and you didn't use your free token, is it gone if you entered it the first time? Oh, you still have- okay, so that doesn't matter. If you, if you still have a token, then oh well. If you were gonna join with money anyways, then you still have a free one. Okay, alright, alright, alright. They are still in a world of trouble because of the four power double striking trampler, but... I paid for the first, and I'm not playing another. I refuse free games. Uh, I don't have the win in hand. They have the Woe Strider plus Bastion, so they can gain some lifeies. Well, the devil doesn't do anything right now since I'm not sacking anything. Oh, you mean the... No, no, no. They can't sack. They can't not sack because Rimrock Knight tramples. 
It's better to go Priest plus Forbidden Friendship this turn, and then play the Devil next turn. So they go up to three. And they're gonna go up to four. Chat, you silly. They can sack their non-blocking creatures. You think expensive cards are hard to cast? Well, I first picked Ulamog in my previous draft and cast it multiple times. Big oof for OP. GG. I almost I almost sacked my own creatures here. That was <laughs> I forgot it was any number of players each lose two life and sacrifice. I was about to target myself. Wow, successfully won the die roll again. And by that I mean this is the first time I've won the die roll with this deck. But we didn't draw a two drop, I quit. Freaking game over. I have a feeling they're just going to kill my knight if I try to pump it. I'd rather play out another creature. Next level Gotham would be playing out... Sorry, just attacking for one and passing. I'll trade for Daxos now. Wait a minute. Shepherd with Plague Crafter? Oh my god. That's. No! Rude. <sighs> I should probably just Plague Crafter that. But I'm so greedy that I don't want to. I almost want to just play out the Pyromancer there and pass. Okay. Oh baby. Oh, they went with Venerable instead. Surprise! We're running out of gas though, and they have a lot of cards in their hand. Oh, they tapped incorrectly unless they have a one mana red creature or something. Oh! Okay, well, I don't have to worry about. Hmm. I don't want to have to spark harvest that. I'm just equipping and passing. Alright, there's land six. Oh, are you kidding? What a... No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh. <laughs> that might be GG, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna start pooping out 5-5 five five flyers every turn. That is not the card we needed. There's a small chance if I rip like active trees and a and something back to back. But Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. And I think I play the flyer out instead of Judith because if... Oh wait, that doesn't make any sense. They're gonna get another one next turn. No, we're still dead. I don't think there's anything I can draw. If they attack with this one, and then I draw active trees and I win. Assuming they don't have anything. The urn is ripped. Needed to find something there, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, Swamp was not it. We shall name this run Brett. <laughs> All right, GGs. GGs, you got me, and Breath Shieldbreaker. Funny enough, if this was Bloodfell Caves, would have survived another turn. Man, this Knight of the Ebon Legion loves me. Alright. We an untapped red source, so I think I'll just go turn one Ebon. Dusky, sure. It's one life. One less life for you, OP. Maybe I'm supposed to play Scorch Spitter, but I don't want them to flash out a 2-1 and then... Uh... Could they counter this? Obviously. But in case they flashed out the, uh, what's-his-face, I think this is fine. 2-1, Cutthroat. I didn't play a tap land, because if they have the 2-1 flash, then it trades with my knight if I don't play the untap land. We have had Knight on turn one every game, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have not, no, considered joining that series. The Devil's fine, I have the Plague Crafter and the Slaughter Priest to make it relevant. Well, it's not really doing anything here, so... What's in a name? What's in a name? It's passing? They do have a Brineborn! Okay. Wait, but they're not... But they're not blocking. 
Okay. I think I might just pass if they don't counter this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass. I think they're holding up a counter or something. Oh, sure. <laughs> Artless Act couldn't kill the knight at that point. That's funny. Why not play the devil? Because they, they clearly had something. I didn't want to run into a counter. Oh! You know what this deck needed? Like a duress or a thought seize type effect. Losing that agonizing remorse kind of sucked. Arena best of one, it's fine. Wish it was best of three, but other than that. If I pump the Labyrinth, I don't think I mind trading here. I still don't think I'm in a rush to play Devil. I'm going to lead out with my weak cards. Yeah, there we go, finally. Okay. It has Raid, or whatever it's called. So on turn one, it's just a 1-1. One, one. Yep. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What do you say? Oh, that would be unfortunate if you didn't draw a single card with your 5 mana enchantment. I don't know what that card is. Conscience, Conscious Snoop. <laughs> what you say, yeah. Mm, that you only meant well. Well, of course you didn't. Doesn't Midnight Clock sacrifice itself? Oh no, it exiles itself. Pew pew! Demon Lord Bells Unlock, yes. One of the cards that insta-kills you in Momir. Along with, uh, what? Phage. Leveler. There are a few cards that do that. Again! We've got the knight in our opening hand! Unfortunately, the lands here are kind of awful. I'm gonna keep, but it's slow. The issue with doing this is that I don't actually get to play anything on turn 3 without drawing another untapped land, which I did. Then again. Oh wait! Yeah, never mind. Don't listen to me. Well, that's kind of interesting. Huh. I might be a little bit too slow. That's a lot of damage next turn. Right, I need 5 mana for that though. Oh, they equipped the wrong one, whoopsies.
No, because I need a creature in my graveyard besides the other. I mean, I guess I could have played Pyromancer and Shocked, but... <clears throat> oh, they have a way to kill Whisper, maybe? Huh. Actually... God, I really want to get this Annex online first. Aha. Okay. Oh, these can't block us, right? Oh, God. Ah, I just needed one land. All right, I should just play it safe. Play the priest and, like, pass. I've sequenced this pretty bad, though. I could definitely lose this game by, like, a turn short. I'm gonna let them go ahead and activate their Fauna Shaman. Because I might want to block with Knight and then shoot. I have not played this correctly though. Yeah. I'm gonna block and then shoot the Fauna Shaman. Remember, the uh, Shadow Spear gives Trample, so blocking that doesn't make sense. And these can't block. Pitch land or Elf. Or oh, Shalai! Man, now I don't get to play Mayhem Devil. I have to play Active Treason. So unlucky. Oh wait, I guess I should technically attack first, right? Yeah, I, I need to attack first. Well, I don't need to, but it's... three damage. Damn it, dude, still no land. Alright. Bastion's gonna be good though. Hopefully they can't kill me this turn somehow. Okay. Alright, I think we're about to hold the baby here, chat. about to pop off. We are about to pop off. It's good. Very good. But they need to play another creature, otherwise it's not good enough. So here's what we do. We play the Annex, for starters. We 
pop the Destiny Spinner. Oh, wait, wait. I do that instead. Sack, 1-1. One, one. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to lose one of my other creatures if I do that. I know my flyer can't block. Uh, that doesn't work. I need to kill, I need to kill the Destiny Spinner, like this. And ping it, I think. I'm missing red here, though, is the issue. I, I could have sequenced this better, but... And X will have done his job anyways. This is not a huge deal. But again, poor sequencing. I don't have to sack Annex first. It's just, I think it's probably a little bit better. I do. Oh, this is the ping. Do I want to just fling a token? No. If I use the knight on the 2 2, I can't weaponize. All this damage. <laughs> Jesus. Not that we needed the land, but a lot of synergy there. A lot of synergy, that's for sure. Wow, unacceptable. No turn one night. And that feeling when you play out Rimrock Knight in, on turn two. Oh! You punk! A turn late, dollar short. Yeah, they're playing Grixis colors. They might just like kill my creature, kill both my creatures, kill my creature, and I die. Sure, Embercleave's not a bad pick one. If you want to go that route. Oh, what did I first pick? I first picked Judith, yeah. Well, that's because Judith normally has a pretty big target on her head. All right, if they kill Aunt Judy, we get to poke the 1-1 one, one dead. Yeah, why is this Pokemon streamer playing Magic? Imagine not getting any cube trophies today. Oh god, do you have like a miscalc? That's really rude, homie. I guess it wouldn't be miscalc, but I probably should have just played my land untapped for uh, quench purposes. Oof. 
we need some help here. We don't talk about the last Pokemon run. We don't talk about Brett around here, okay? I'm gonna ban the word Brett. <laughs> what the? I don't expect to see that card. Oh my god, what a draw! That had to be the bo best possible top deck. I don't need the upkeep stop. Rampage is a sorcery. If I see something, I can always set it, but... Jimmy died. Conrad died. Brett died. Herb was killed. <laughs> uh, rest in peace. Yeah, what a draw! Zero board impact! I take it. Go ahead and level up your knight. Accept. Ooh. This little sacrifice effect there. All right. We get to ping one of the mice. Nice. Ooh. Actually, I guess we just play that out. We don't return anything to our hand, right? Yeah, I guess I can return Aunt Judy. Well, they're at nine. Yeah, I'll return Aunt Judy. I was going to say, maybe it's better to, uh, to just play out a 2-2 flyer, but looks like we didn't hit anything underneath anyways. I know I can't play anything from hand, but remember, I can always kill the uh, Frenzy. Alright, let's, let's try to get them here. No! <laughs> they didn't fall for it, chat! It was worth a shot. So I gave them an extra scry here. It's basically what I did. They probably just fire off the. Oh, they didn't. Okay. They scared. Well, I don't think I sack off the frenzy yet. Yeah, especially if they're just killing the Order of Midnight, that's fine. I will get one ping when I sack the frenzy, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they're playing scared. I like it. It's a lot of land. Whoa, daddy! GG's. G-freaking-G. One, two... I don't have lethal, right? No, wait. This is three damage, three damage, yeah. It's the goddamn game, ladies and gentlemen! Pass, kill him next turn. It was close to lethal. I was one mana short or... No. Also, we have Annex on top with all of these creatures to sack and lamp head. Man, they probably just gave up. <laughs> what kind of standard is this? <laughs> not vintage cube, legacy cube. Look, I'm not playing this weekend's PT. I'm playing next weekend's PT, which means I get to dirtle off as hard as I want, okay? I'm already a Hall of Famer. I already have four PT top eights. Mox champion with Goyf. Like, 
Do I really need to practice for it, or should I? <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god. L-O-L. -L. They can't kill me, right? No. Pretty good though. Oh wait, I'm drawing the Annex. Oh, maybe I should have killed the uh, Electromancer. Oh, I, I, I might have just messed up. I might have just killed myself. Oh boy. Oh boy, I think I just killed myself. I have four, five mana if I sack. I can make them sack an artifact and then play Annex. I'd be dead on board then. Oh boy. Might have just thrown. Might have just hard thrown. I need to land underneath this. Bastion? Actually, that works. Alright, we're fine. I deserve to lose. Hopefully they top deck something and kill me. That would be justice. Yeah, yeah. I could have done a lot of things. Like, they have a bunch of two toughness creatures. We could have just, like, shot, shot. What's up, Mono Control? Thank you for the seven months. It would be justice if they killed me, but it's a lot harder now that I have the Bastion in addition and the Grim Initiate poops out a token. But they could kill me here if they drew, like, another effect that can kill two creatures. I have... Ten different ways. <gasps> they did? They top decked finale chat. Oh no, they're one off lethal. They're one off lethal. They're one off lethal. Holy moly! That would have been such sweet justice. Sorry, OP. You deserve to win. Luck. sack -ary. Gets there again, though. Literal sack -ary. Concede a riot? Why would I ever concede? Okay, I don't have that many. I have three tap lands in the deck. I've drawn two of them. I'm not counting Embereth as a tap land, but... Ogle, MTG. Thank you for the 18 months. Turn one elf. Again, cheating. What the hell? I guess I have to play a tap land here. Me gruel, me smash! I mean, their hand isn't very good. I will snap. Snap pump if you block. Okay, I need to draw Spark Harvest or I lose. Well, chat, I think we died. 
literally dead. I don't think we have any outs, right? We're just dead. <sighs> well, again. The rule of this game should be win the die roll, don't not win the die roll. All right, I followed the rule of win the die roll. Success. Yeah, that's why they made the uh, the uh, gruel dude a four four, so that there was it carry added added two mana. Come on, In troll knight. I mean, if they didn't have Dracoseth, their hand didn't do anything. Hmm. I guess I should probably just play it smart. That's fine. <sighs> skitter skitter into maybe like a what is it called? The two mana? Two mana enchantment exile? No, Brett was the guard chomp. Conrad was the Quilava. Doesn't matter though, all of them died. That's the one I was talking about, Baffling End. They did have it. That challenge is too hard. That's what makes it enjoyable. It's doable, it's- Oh, Aww. <laughs> aww, 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 aww. We're gonna have a problem if they stabilize and get to some big fatties. Wow, main phase Typhoon for zero, just to try to find land. I don't think I'm attacking yet. The Nuzlocke one? No. Oh my Jesus! Help! We're dead again! <laughs> well, at least it's a scry land. Question is, am I spark harvesting with, uh, no, I'm not sacking a knight. Pretty good, okay. I almost wonder if I shouldn't attack with the priest. In fact, I might not even attack for any with anything. Since we're drawing Bastion, it might be better just to wait. I'm still worried about what they could play here, though. Mm. You're eating my Aunt Judy? That's just rude. Well, now this Rimrock Knight's terrible. Although I still don't think I attack with it because it's better off as a sack outlet than a uh, a trade with a stupid 1-1, one -one, right?
Maybe this is a bad attack. They get to attack with their lifelinkers if they want. I need to rip some hot action. How about an experimental frenzy off the top? For old time's sake. Just for old time's sake, please! So they get two more 1-1s. One yeah, I think slacking should be banned. Oh! <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen! This is the end of the urn! None of these are humans! This is a soldier! Alright, hurt me, daddy. Sure. Yeah, probably can't even draw Frenzy anymore. Alright. Yeah, you win. You win! Man, this deck was sweet, too. I'm sad we lost with this one. This felt like a deck that could have eaten.